In this video, we will use the topology wizard tool to validate that our geologic line work is coherent, complete, and abides by the fundamental rules for geologic contacts. Now that all the geologic line work is complete, we are almost ready to build our geologic unit polygons. However, before doing that, we will first perform a topology check. Topology is defined as the arrangement of how point, line, and polygon features share geometry. I like to think of topology as what is on top. In other words, we drew our lines on top top of our base map, and there are a fundamental set of rules that geologic lines on maps must follow. A topology check makes sure that there are no fundamental errors in the geologic contacts that could cause problems when we create the unit polygons. This step in the workflow should not be underestimated or skipped, as it will ensure that our line work is sound and that our polygons will be generated perfectly. You can think of topology check in Arc Pro as analogous to spell check in Microsoft Word. It is an incredibly convenient tool that ensures perfection in our map. Navigate to the catalog pane. Right click on the mapping feature data set, then click new, then topology. In the first step of the create topology wizard tool, rename it to SP mapping topology just to remain consistent within our project. Next, select which feature classes you want to include. Here we will check Geo Contacts and Linear Features, then click Next. Now we will add the fundamental rules against which our line feature classes will be checked. The five fundamental rules for geologic contacts are as follows. A geologic contact must not, one, overlap with other lines, two, overlap with itself, three, intersect with other lines, four, intersect with itself, or five, have a dead end or what is known as a dangle. In the Create Topology Wizard tool, click on the empty box under Rule to open up a drop-down menu. Then select first, must not overlap line. Then repeat the previous steps to add four more rules to the table must not intersect, must not have dangles, must not self overlap, and must not self intersect. These five rules must be specified for both geo contacts and linear features. Once all the rules are in place, click next and then finish to run the topology check. After the topology check is complete, the topology file will be added to the mapping feature dataset in the catalog pane. If it does not show up right away, you may have to right click and refresh your geo database. Before viewing the topology results, we must validate them. To do this, right click on the SP mapping topology item and then click validate. Once the validation is complete, Right click the SP mapping topology item and select add to current map. The topology results will be added to your map and will be listed in the contents pane as a new map layer. The topology results enable you to see if there are any areas on your map that violate the five rules that we just specified. Note how they appear as red squares on the map view. Before moving on to create geologic unit polygons, all topology errors must be reviewed and fixed as necessary. In the Manage Edits section of the Edit tab, click on Error Inspector. If it doesn't automatically select the SP Mapping Topology, you can select it from the drop-down menu here. So my topology checker has identified 39 places where my line work has violated one of the five rules. I will need to visit each of these spots and fix the line or tell the error checker that that particular spot is an exception to the rules. You can zoom into each spot on the map or you can right click the error spot in the table and click zoom to. Let's start here. Here we see that two points at the end of the crater rim linear feature have been marked as dangling. Sometimes linear features on a map are allowed to dangle, like in this instance. Geologic contacts, on the other hand, are never allowed to dangle. With the spot highlighted in the table, click Fix, 
Then click Mark as Exception. Note how the squares on the map then turn green, and also a green exclamation point appears in the table. These two spots have now been resolved. These crater rims are also showing the dangle error message. We can mark these as exceptions also. When error checking line work, I like to alter my map scale settings so that I can zoom in further to resolve any potential issues. Right click the map scale and click customize. Uncheck the box here that says only display these scales. Now we'll be able to zoom in closer on our map using our scroll wheel. Here it says that this geologic contact is dangling, but on close and we can see that it is securely snapped to the map border. We will mark cases like these as exceptions as well. Here we can see that this contact line is actually overlapping the fault line. To fix this, select the contact line, then select the Edit Vertices tool. With this tool, we can add, delete, or move any of the vertices within a line segment. Here I will use the Subtract icon to delete the unnecessary vertex at the end of the line. When you're done editing, click on this check mark icon to finish editing the line. Now we see that the contact line terminates at the fault and does not overlap. One other thing I notice here, by zooming in we also see that a portion of the fault line is showing approximate symbology where it should be showing concealed. Again, I will use the Edit Vertices tool here to get rid of a vertex on the approximate line and then drag the concealed fault line to snap to the approximate at the correct location. This particular location highlights the importance of using the topology error checker as well as zooming in at each error location. It can be very easy to miss these line work violations at the digitization and publication scales. Now that this is all fixed, we can mark this spot as an exception as it is no longer breaking any of our rules. Here we see an example of where a contact line is self-overlapping and intersecting. It is not immediately obvious, but if we select the self-overlapping line in the table, we see a small yellow line segment appear on the map. Navigate to the Select tool and then click on the small yellow line segment. Notice this Selection drop-down icon that appears. This icon appears when two different features are overlapping. If we click on it and then hover above the two line segments, it highlights the feature in question. It also shows the feature line length. Here, we want to select the small line segment and delete it. Now we have got rid of the self-overlapping and intersecting line. We can zoom out just to make sure the rest of the contact line is intact, and then we can merge the two remaining segments to be double sure that the problem has been resolved. Once you are satisfied that there are no more rule breaks at this location, mark it as an exception and move on. When using the topology error checker, be sure to save the project often during this process. You don't want to have to revisit all of these spots a second time if you don't have to. Now this step may seem a little bit tedious, but it is crucial to do a thorough job before moving on to the next step, which is to build geologic unit polygons. Even one missed line error can sabotage the resulting polygons, so spending the time now to fix all line work before moving on to the next step will save an enormous amount of time as opposed to trying to fix potentially botched polygons. Trust me, I've learned the hard way in the past. You either do it right or you do it twice. Once you have resolved all errors, check out the next video where we will build geologic unit polygons.